Hello everyone, YouTubers Alex here, back with some more Subnautica. Once again, we're returning with another base design, and it's the one that I have alluded to in the last couple of videos, but this is the... Well, how to put it, it's a freaking small city that I have constructed. Now, a few disclaimers. One, this is very much impractical for a real survival. This is purely because I'm in creative and because I can, and half the time I thought, well... Let's just say at least 10 people actually survived the Aurora uh, crash and they all banded together, found each other one way or another and decided to make a more permanent outpost. Uh, so that's what I've currently done here. Uh, I should also mention my frame rate is going to be absolutely appalling uh, in this because, well, as I said before, the larger your bases get in this, uh, in this game, the more lag you're going to expect. And what the hell am I, like, grappling onto? Uh, apparently I'm picking up. This is holding nothing. Uh, so then that's fun. Uh, you'll, if you're keen-eyed, you will also notice uh, my build of the game has changed. I have switched over to the development build, uh, because all I'm going to say is, if you haven't watched the uh, IGP's latest video, well, firstly, what the hell are you doing? Uh, <laughs> so go check him out. And secondly, I'm going to be uh, doing a base inspired by his, uh, his video down in the... Uh, what is it? The Lost River and that big, that big tree with, uh, surrounded by all those ghost rays. Something really just an awesome looking spot. Uh, somewhere where I'll probably do a um, build down there. Uh, so anyway, let's, let me stop just talking to the camera and let's make sure it's the daytime because, um, yes, welcome to 20 FPS. It'll get worse. I'm, I'm afraid frame rate is going to be bad. Don't blame me, blame the base. It's so freaking huge. So let's uh, let's pop out and let us fly up here and show you. So <laughs> YouTube may say 60 FPS, it's not going to be. So what would this base be called? More like a giant colony, um, a freaking huge outpost. This is this base is big and it is mostly decorated um, as well. And each sort of area has its own sort of role play esque. Um, looking place like, like like I said imagine lots of people uh, with all unique jobs in here and such forth and whatnot if you want to know where I am uh, I am on the largest of the floating islands with this uh, big smokestacks uh, over here so you'll actually see um, it's very hot this is probably one of the hottest places in the game I think it can I think does it quite get up to 70 degrees maybe not maybe like 60 68.9 I saw just then so it's very hot um, so lots of thermal energy here so we'll we'll start you from the beginning uh, which is over here this is meant to be like the the entrance way I, I have a seam off in there so I wouldn't be able to dock but yeah there is it's, it's huge everywhere from like production areas to re um, sleeping quarters over there where my crosshair is the uh, massive sort of I say massive the um many seamoth docks or moon pools for uh because like i said imagine many people will probably have their own seamoths they're all going around doing their thing uh there's like research and uh, meeting rooms and greenhouses and there's lots of stuff in here uh which hopefully i can remember everything uh when i come to the tour uh you'll also notice as soon as i get inside there is no bulkheads i would have put quite a few uh around um to actually you know, you cordon off rooms because a place like this, if you had a leak, you know, you'd want to seal off that area. Uh, but I've had that door glitch; it still persists even into this build. So, uh, although it didn't persist into the other world down in the um, uh, Lost River, so we'll carry on from here. Once again, just you'll have to ignore my frame rate; I cannot do anything about it. So, once again, main entrance hall here. I have very roughly signposted this; it's very, very rough. Um, Probably because I, I couldn't be asked to actually sign every single room. So if we go straight ahead in this um, corridor here, we actually have the power room. Very simple. It's just the nearest room to the smokestacks. Um, let me actually just check something. Okay. Um, so despite the temperature, you're not going to actually take damage. Because um, that's what that was actually a new thing I noticed. Um, you actually you took damage if you were in, uh, in water that was too hot, which actually would make a lot of sense. So, uh, yeah, I even put these like lockers standing out here. This look kind of nice if I don't say so myself. Um, once again, there's the odd glitch. You'll also notice there's a bit of a, there's a new running animation, uh, at least in this build. Um, so you can actually see me running around. So anyway, I didn't actually mention, but this is the workshop. So if you're actually doing any production work, then. Uh, you have this area, so pretty much modifications, fabrications, works, workbenches, stations, whatever, bins, shelves. 
uh, all you really need there and then here is the main storage um, yes the lockers are not particularly symmetrical but this is the main storage area of the base so dump everything in there and I would presume you would uh, uh, label all the lockers. Um, if you hear me, if you see me pause again, I'm having a drink of coffee this time, not beer. As I usually seem to drink beer in these videos, but no, nope, I'm having coffee this time. As uh, I certainly need a nice coffee every once in a while. So anyway, in here is like a mm, snack break room. So you got your water, got your snack bar, and some seats to sit down. So you know, want to take take your coffee break or your snack break, then uh, you can certainly do that. Um, as it is called the break room, if you briefly saw on the sign there. So now we're going to run all the way over here. So, yes, main building, uh, going further into the base here. Um, it's very much a single corridor design. I suppose it would make some sense to have multiple corridors going to the same place. You know, once again, what happens if you have a compromised corridor or compromised area? You're going to want another way to get to certain places. So, um, that's that. So, in here, as you just saw, is the backup bioreactor. It's unlikely you'll ever need it, um, but it's there. So popping down here, and then immediately over here is the greenhouse. Uh, just just imagine bulkheads on most of these rooms, um, but like I said, it's not particularly. Uh, uh, the doors don't particularly work, so uh, that's that. So yeah, we're near, near smokestacks again. I suppose being the waters being quite warm in here, you'd think the heat would radiate inside a little bit, which I know it doesn't. But if it did, then you can imagine this room being. Uh, uh, fairly warm, and I suppose quite humid if you had, if you had it full of plants for research and such. Um, in here is a three-story sort of rooms that I use for um, just navigation uh, of the base. So going to multiple levels. So we have uh, scanning and the hatch to get out, and then the crew. Um, when I say crew, I mean like crew quarters, but I don't think I couldn't quite fit it onto a sign. Uh, and we have moon pools uh, below. So if we go up, which is the smallest area to to say. You can have a observation deck, I suppose, to once again observe the smoke. You can you can kind of see the um, the base does sort of encircle these smokestacks, but uh, these are our main source of power, so it makes sense to sort of build around them, I suppose. Uh, that's certainly a nice coffee. Um, and if we pop out here, you have a hatch to the outside, as you can see. Plenty of spotlights. So I've got those sort of wandering around the place. Hang on a second. Huh. Okay, hatches make a sound. That is one thing um, you may have noticed uh, throughout pretty much every one of my videos ever. There's no in-game sound. Now, that was partially because it was just a cheap way of getting th something to work. You know, sorry, I, I didn't have to ask around with um, volumes and stuff. I will try and put actual game sound back into the videos at some point, but for now, I'm leaving it as it is. Call me lazy. Like I said, I, <laughs> I have a laziness down to a fine art. Uh, so in here is scanners, as you can kind of see, and then there's some more of the uh, more of the rooms and stuff down there. Um, you you just have to imagine this place with a, you know a couple dozen people in here um, milling around doing their own jobs. Everyone would have a role. Everyone has a job. So anyway, meeting rooms. This is like the the whole idea of um, you could you people could come in and we can like discuss future plans. Like we have like I said chairs and a desk. So I suppose if there was actually like a a head researcher or some kind of um, uh, bone shark. Now, if there was <laughs> some kind of leader of this outpost, whatever you want to call it, then uh, that would be that. I think, um, yeah, spotlights, um, that's one thing I have noticed, but you don't see it too often. Spotlights, I believe, will track certain entities, whether it's hostile entities or not. Yes, yeah, he just span round and is now um, staring at this uh, particular bone shark. So, that's something you don't normally notice, but once again, fairly mirrored design here. Just got uh, eight seats and a main desk. I could have put some like extra plants and stuff, but the thing is, uh, my my I'm getting about well anywhere between ten and twenty FPS in the in these places. So like I said, I'm very sorry for the frame rate, but there is nothing I can do about it. Um, but this base is just you know, impractically large at this point, but, uh, right, so crew quarters and moon pools, so that if you follow the signs further down here, uh, moon pools is upstairs, because that goes that direction, but we'll stay down here for a minute. Uh, we have the mess hall, which, this is where I would like a larger, a larger uh, multi-purpose room, but I suppose, you know, seating for five at, at least, um, your main desk, bench, if you want to sort of sit down, do some uh, cooking, preparing food or whatever. Uh, which there is not really anything to do with that, and uh, maybe I should have put a fabricator uh, in here and to, um, you know what, 
assuming it doesn't lag too much and they changed all the menus oh god frame rate that was laggy so yeah fabricated there and your bin and your snack bar or whatever you want to call it so yeah that's a mess hall mind you I would want that a bit bigger personally so now uh, crew beds crew quarters crew beds I I'm dyslexic so I can't spell, um, so I just put bed so I know how you spell that. Um, <laughs> uh, in here is a small a small sort of snack area. I know the mess hall is over there, but that's like for main eating. Think about it this way, like what happens if you wake in the night and you want a snack, or you, you literally just want to wake, you, like you have breakfast or something. This is where, yeah, okay, have some crisps for breakfast, but mm, that doesn't make much sense. But you know, it's, it's just a small sort of snack area, um, so if you want to eat something um, small in the morning, and uh, there's that. Uh, you cannot see anything, but if I do that, so yeah, there's a little window out here. So now we go into the crew quarters. Um, these are not singular rooms; these are these are three beds apiece. And I have, like I said, some of the really fine decoration I would have wanted to have done here. So I could have had like little bedside cabinets, um, some like bins and stuff. That sort of stuff I couldn't really do because the whole place was just so laggy. I mean, it is still laggy as all hell, though frame rate has gone up a bit here because I'm at, I'm at one end of the base, but if I look over there, it goes down, so uh, there you go. So it's, it's three beds per room, so we actually have a lot more uh, sleeping capacity uh, than, you know, ten people, but, you know, this place is this place is certainly not meant for multiplayer, or at least this game's not actually multiplayer at all, um, but that's a good question. How many, how many beds do we have? Let's see, three, six... 15 beds um, if I count correctly so okay so we, we could easily ho um, house 15 people but 15 people here would get a little crowded but then um, there is a, a fragment of the Aurora not far from here so you know some people could be going out on re reclamation missions they could be salvaging that big chunk uh, in order to um, build this place and you'll have um, people working the kitchens w um, working the, you know discussing meeting rooms some people will be in the scanner rooms uh, some people will be in the moon pool control areas and or even like mechanics to repair said CMOS you can see what I mean there's there's a lot of jobs that if you could think in a role play aspect you know people could be doing here anyway as I was talking I've gone up into the moon pool deck which um, it's nice to see a running animation. It's quite nice. Um, so yeah, control tower is at the end, but the moon pools are here. So there's four on the on one side, and there's uh, one on the other side. But that's just because of the terrain. That's one thing I like to do when I build bases. I don't want the when I put down a, a piece of base, uh, like a corridor or a room. I really don't want it to terraform the land because it never it never looks good. It's so artificial. Um, so I always do something uh, a little different. So yeah, this is the only left moon pool, and all the rest are on the right. As you can see, there's another one over there through that corridor. So uh, glitching red ward, um, <laughs> and out the back here is another observation room. I've got, I've got a handful of these around, but um, it just allows you to uh, look out. There's the fragment of the aurora out there. So once again, you could um, imagine if um, you that would be an interesting uh, mechanic. I wonder if you if they would add. Um, like a, an extra exosuit arm or something. Oh, there you go. It's following the bone shark in that spotlight. Um, but you'd wonder if there was a way that you could like, uh, like a modified laser cutter, but you could use it to just take chunks of like. You see a big fragment of the aurora here, just sitting on these rocks. Um, have a a tool that could be used to like pull that structure apart or something like that, so you could get. You know, you could. That's a. You know, assuming you had those tools at your um, disposal, you could get a huge amount of titanium from that, and could fund these kind of builds. I suppose if you were interested in doing that. So, up to the control tower. Uh, this is this is a very much, um, well, the highest point I suppose of the uh, whole place. So you can sit down and just observe the base. But you may like. I'm thinking a little bit too much of real life here and like air traffic control. This is like could be like sea traffic control. It's a little bit of a odd concept in this game. But once again, if you're if you're all playing this whole base being full of people, or if it ever was full of people, then you could have a couple people in here just managing ingoing and outgoing traffic and also communications as well. As you you never know, we might get rescued one day, and we're not that far underwater. We're 230 meters uh, down, so. You know, we I suppose it's like a control hub, communication center, whatever, um, and a good observation point. You can pretty much see everything from up here. So, and uh, and after that, that is pretty much the entire base. Yes, it's bloody massive. Yes, my frame rate has been pretty shit the entire video, but um, there isn't there isn't much you can do for a base of this magnitude. But 
Um, once again, this is more it's more of a role play slash proof of concept. You can do something really cool like this. And this is being the largest of the floating islands, I thought let's build a base that would be fitting for an island of this size, which in this case is more of a you know colony outpost of some kind. And there is f uh, floating courts up here. That was probably when I was having some fun with the exosuit. Uh, inventory full. Full of what? Oh, torpedoes. I forgot I was messing around on this save as well in between uh, things. So that is going to be probably the end of this showcase so that is like i said that's the base if you want to do something interesting or something like this then let me know if you want me to build somewhere interesting as well if you have a specific location in the in southern Nautica that you want me to build a space of some description or just give me some suggestions below of where to build next mind you i have already got plans for that uh big glowing tree thing down in the lost river now it's been at least in the develop in the um experimental build which is where i'm currently at what they've been adding down there is flipping epic looking and actually is good enough to warrant a base or at least to make something down there. It will not be on this scale. It will probably be a little bit more practical with a hint of, you know, practicality in regards to role play. So role play a little bit. So I might have a, res a research lab there as a rough example. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.